Watching GB News with uh, GB News Day, me, Alastair Stewart and guests. Prime Minister has sacked her chance of the Exchequer over their much criticised mini budget. Ms Truss has said that she is sorry to lose Kwasi Kwarteng, but stated you put the national interest first. Kwarteng, meanwhile, says he accepts the request to stand down. In a letter to Liz Truss posted on his Twitter account, he said, as I've said many times in the past weeks, following the status quo was simply not an option. For too long, this country has been dogged by low growth rates and high taxation. That must still change if this country is to succeed. Well, uh, that letter was followed in fairly swift order uh, by the Prime Minister appointing the former Health Secretary Jeremy Hunt as the new, and some might even say latest, Chancellor of the Exchequer. Uh, there's also been a reshuffle that brings Edward Arger, MP, former Health Minister, up to Chief Secretary to the Treasury, while Chris Philp, the former Chief Secretary of the Treasury, that's the number two uh, at the Treasury, who also sits in the Cabinet, however, moves across to the Cabinet Office, which uh, some see these days as being a bit of a waiting room while they decide what they really want you to do. Uh, and within the next half hour, we are expecting to hear from Liz Truss herself. Uh, uh, that'll be in Downing Street and we'll bring you uh, that news conference live uh, and Tom Harwood is down there for us. That's the scene at the moment.